He declassified 1966 uh, bioweapon spring in the New York subway. Just the parts that are declassified. They didn't declassify at all. They had hundreds of army doctors posing in nearby hospitals as regular doctors in emergency rooms to get samples when the people they'd hit with the bioweapon came in. So they'll have their people in place for one of these tests to see what it does to the humans. And again, there's other groups testing. Will the media figure out what's happening? What will the locals do? It's all gauging what they can introduce into the environment, what they can spray us with. I mean, remember last year we were getting the reports and then it was confirmed that they were shooting up little kids in elementary school with the flu shot without their parents' authorization? Kind of like Pennsylvania, watching you over the laptops at home. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions, yet many are unaware of the entire function of the Silver Lung System and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lung System produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, it also comes equipped with the proper applicators and devices needed to deliver your silver solutions directly to key target areas. This includes the eyes, ears, nose, lungs, topically to the skin, and orally for the digestive system. Be sure to watch our new seven minute video tour of the Silver Lung System at www.silverlungs.com to learn more about how the Silver Lung System works. As well, we are always ready to answer any questions you may have. That's www.silverlungs.com. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones asking you for a minute of your time to tell you about soap. Not detergents, but good old-fashioned pure soap made by the Cal Bend Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company. My family, staff, friends, and radio listeners are constantly telling me how much they love these products for bath, hair, laundry, and dishes. There is nothing like these factory direct, big money saving, triple concentrated soaps anywhere. Get a free detailed catalog by calling 800-340-7091 or see them online at 5starsoap.com or infowars.com. Let's talk to the owner of 5 Star Soap, Marty Schachter, and see what he has to say. As founder and owner for over 63 years, people keep asking me, how's business? I'm happy to say our business is going down the drain. Call us at one 800 340-7091 for visit our website 5starsoap.com for buying our one to two month soap sampler. Thank you. Crashing through the lies and disinformation it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, getting back to this article, and then I'm going to shift gears into other news. I think we should make this the number one search term today, dealing with the mass bird die-off, because uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. Uh, there's no way this was hail, which no one reported hail. Lightning, no. Uh, you have small birds, large birds being killed. And so many times it is associated with chemical, biological, radiological testing. And almost all the time... They don't tell you. For years out in uh, California, they'd be trying to eradicate different types of beetles and moths. 
And because these chemicals are known as toxic to humans, the state just kept it secret until people did FOIA request and were actually able to uh, dig all of this uh, information up. And then the population uh, did discover that, indeed, that had been going on. So the attitude is out of sight, out of mind. Just don't tell the public uh, about what's happening. I mean, there's no telling what this could have been. Could have been some type of magnetic system being tested. But I'm going to continue along this line, then we're going to get into uh, other news here. Is mass bird and fish die-off connected to government testing? 1977 Senate hearing found that U.S. government had infected hundreds of cities with biological uh, agents. A mass die-off of birds and fish in Arkansas, which prompted a response by U.S. Environmental Services, has residents asking questions about the case. Could secret government testing be responsible for the carnage? Well, I mean, I mean let's go back just in the last uh, year with... Obama on television and the EPA saying core exit is not bad for you and that no one was ill cleaning it up in the Gulf, cleaning up the oil. Just like the government told the firefighters, police and emergency workers, hey, there's no problem with this asbestos dust. You don't have to wear a respirator when they knew full well and later came out day one their own reports that it was deadly poison. But you've got to ask the population, the police, the firemen, the medical workers, what's wrong with you? Why have the government's been caught thousands and thousands of times murdering us premeditatedly? Why do we believe them? Why do we trust them still? I mean, I guess we really are prey animals. I guess we really are idiots. I guess we really do deserve it. Like Ron Paul said a month or so ago on the show, if people put up with the government sticking their hands down our pants, if the people put up with this type of abuse, if the people go along with this, then I guess we do deserve it in a way. And that's how the globalists see it. If we'll put up with this, then we're fair game. Well, I'm here declaring I'm a human being. I'm conscious. I don't want to be poisoned. I don't want stuff in my water. I don't want you doing this to me. And I'm going to come after you politically and try to bring you to justice. I'm giving fight back to you. I'm not just acquiescing like I'm a T-bone steak on the table you know, authorizing you to eat me. Okay, I'm not your property. Continuing here. Is mass bird and fish die off connected to government testing? Again, some news says 4,000, others 2,000. I don't know what the real number is. Around 2,000 red-winged blackbirds as well as ducks fell to their deaths over a mile area of BB, Arkansas. On Friday night, U.S. Environmental Services workers wore hazmat suits and gas masks as they picked up the dead birds. An area used by the birds to roost was unaffected, leading officials to conclude that the birds could not have died from an illness or have been targeted for poisoning. Lightning, fireworks, and high-altitude hail have been forwarded as possible culprits. But no hail hit the ground. I've been in Iraq and back and not seen anything like this, BB resident Jeff Drennan told local Fox 16 News on Sunday. You know my kids are out here playing, and you don't know if it's safe, he added. They're walking around with chemical suits, picking them up with gas masks and everything. See, the government tells you everything's fine, but they're wearing hazmat suits. In a related story, 100,000 fish were found dead in northwest Arkansas. Uh, they were found along a 20-mile stretch of the Ozark Dam and Highway 109 uh, bridge in Franklin County. Scalar weapons that can artificially manipulate the environment could be responsible for the mass die-offs. We know for a fact that over the last decade, the U.S. military industrial complex was aware and involved in the testing of such technology. In 1997, telling the Army Times in the April issue, Defense Secretary William Cohen stated, other terrorists are engaging even in an eco-type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate, shut off earthquakes, volcanoes, remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves. So there are plenty of ingenious minds out there that are at work on finding ways in which they can wreak havoc upon other nations. It's real, still quoting Cohen. And that's the reason why we have to intensify our efforts. Now, Tectonic weapons, volcanic weapons, sound weapons, microwave weapons, Tesla weapons, harp weapons. Remember four years ago, I was contacted by the director of harp. Out of the blue, the director of harp 
would like to come on your show. In fact, I want to contact them again up in Alaska and try to get them back on. Then the day of the interview comes. And John Harmon, who runs things up at Genesis, says, hey, there's some military guy on the phone before we can get this head scientist on, the civilian head of the base. And he goes, all right, I will be sitting in during the interview. If I don't like what I'm hearing, the interview may abruptly end or I may cut the audio off. You don't have to talk to me. And I said, well, I wasn't told about this. I mean, you, you, you guys contacted us. Well, the director would like to come on your show. The director likes your show. And uh, I said, okay, whatever. So we go on air. And only once, and luckily it was going to break, he cut the guy off. And once we went to break, he said, I don't like where this is going. What did the director of, it was a colonel. What did the director of HARP say that made the colonel in the Air Force cut him off? He said, oh, sometimes we ignite the atmosphere on fire at night with HARP. I mean, this is the type of technology they've got. And just like they've denied all the weather modification, now they're starting to admit a lot of that. I know that Ben Livingston, it was declassified, what, seven years ago that Ben Livingston was the father of weather weapons and that he'd flown into uh, typhoons over 200 mile an hour winds after World War II himself, the first person to fly into them. Hurricanes, he'd flooded the North Vietnamese out. He could make a huge thunderstorm and a flood out of a clear sky in hours with just a few aircraft. And he certified for the Naval uh, Weapons Laboratory and Stanford Research that they could create control, destroy, weaken, whatever they want, hurricanes. And he came on my show because it had just been declassified so he could talk about it all. I saw him in a Midland newspaper talking about, why don't we just knock out these hurricanes? I, we had it certified in 67 that we could do it. Why, with just eight aircraft, I could have knocked out that Katrina. It was right after Katrina. And they just declassified a bunch of it so he could talk. I called him up, got him on the show, flew him to Austin. But boy, after those interviews aired, he got some phone calls and said, sorry, I've gotten calls from people. They don't, I'm not coming back on your show. Uh, national security. I, I, he'd say no to my producer politely and I'd call him up at home. Come on, Mr. Livingston, please come back on. No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, not going to do it. And it was right after that time that Kay Bailey Hutchinson came out and said, oh, we're going to have a weather modification uh, board, a Senate committee uh, to do all of this. So, I mean, the point is there's a lot of stuff going on. The public isn't being told. And we know that the government has done everything you can imagine to the American people over and over and over and over again. And so why do we trust them? The whole government should be abolished. The whole thing should be removed. Everything should be declassified. Get all that pus out of there. Heal the wound. But instead, under national security, it festers and festers. Under homeland security, the system is now just gobbling up our entire economy. And Watson's article uh, just goes on through many examples of this. And he's also added the full-length version from YouTube, from a director's channel, uh, of Endgame Blueprint for Global Enslavement. In fact, I'll show you on air right now the article. If you go to prisonplanet.com, uh, you can uh, go to the site, and the uh, top uh, story is on PrisonPlanet.com, is mass bird and fish die-off connected to government uh, testing? And now they brought me another report. I uh, went over a similar one uh, earlier. Uh, dead fish cover 20 miles of Arkansas uh, River. And, of course, this is up there where the birds are dying as well. State officials on Monday were investigating why 800 or 80,000 to 100,000 fish washed up dead on shores of the Arkansas River uh, last week. But, but, but that could be unrelated because of uh, 
oxygen uh, problem or toxicity or some type of virus. But it is suspicious because the bird situation is just very bizarre. But if you scroll down on the PrisonPlanet.com article, is...